So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the cool points as I study the real estate exam course and just video them because they say the best way to learn is to teach. So I make little videos, I'll post them as I go and kind of document my process as I take the real estate courses. I've already passed the first exam. And one of the coolest things about the first course was when they talked about ownership. And so they dive deeper in the second course. I'm on the second course now. They dive deeper on the second course in different types of ownership. But first, I want to talk about easements and encroachments. So what does it act? So when you own property, like you get certain rights to a property, but those rights can be restricted or limited. So if there's an easement or an encroachment, and this is something that like any homeowner might already know if you've ever had a survey done, if you, when you bought the property, some of you, um, your property might encroach on city setbacks, like the different bylaws, uh, you might have an easement on your property or you might have an easement on someone else's property. If you've never, ever, maybe your house is free, like it's just great suburban lot in it. You haven't had a, an issue. And so you've never heard of this stuff. That's fine too. Um, so maybe you get to learn something. So an easement is when, let's say you have, oh, okay. A really, um, a really good example of a fairly typical easement in the city is a shared driveway, a mutual driveway, actually, I think it's proper term. So if you have, if you live side by side with someone and it's close and both your driveways are kind of like one and the same, it's one paved pad or whatever. And um, you could potentially have, um, one of you could potentially have an easement or both have an easement on each other's land. And so what happens is your driveway technically extends onto their property and you have the right to use that portion of their property for a very specific purpose. That's an easement. Um, another typical easement is a right of way. So if in, you're living in the country and you need to, maybe you need to access, uh, okay, so the example they use a lot in the course is a cottage with a that doesn't have waterfront access, but an easement has been registered across someone else's property with access to the water. However, they come about that. The fact is you don't own the land, like the other person's land, but you do have the right to use it for a very specific purpose. And those rights move with the land. So when you sell your place, that it's registered on title. So you still have that right or whoever buys your place still has that right. Same thing for the person who owns the land that the easement's placed on. They, they can move and sell. It doesn't erase the easement. Whoever has your property still has the right to use their property in a very specific way. And I thought that was interesting. Uh, another way that easements are used a lot is with utilities. So you see that a lot. Um, if anybody has a pipeline or a utility line running through their backyard or through their property, um, the utility company has the right um, to access their line. Uh, so usually there's a very specific, again, like right of access, right of way to that, to that utility. Um, so that's interesting. And you can get really weird when it gets to comes to cities about like easements and stuff, but uh, encroachments are a little different. Encroachments are just when your house is getting too close to the defined setbacks in um, city bylaws. So every city is going to say, yeah, you can't be, you know, 0.5 meters from the lot line on the, on the left and the right. You can't be 50 or you can't be maybe like two meters or three meters, no, I think it's six actually, six meters from the road. And, you know, so those are setbacks, right? Well, maybe you want to add an addition and instead of six meters, you're 
five meters from, well, then you have to go to committee of adjustments for an encroachment. Um, in, so the house I live in, it's super tight. Like I can't imagine, like there's, there's no setback. Uh, I actually should look up what the setbacks are for our lots. Cause there can't be, there can't be four or five feet. There can't be five feet between our houses. So anyway, you get into the city, it gets real weird, but um, that's a cool point. Next video, I'll talk about uh, ownership, different types of ownership. That's fun.